Well hello, it's uh, Dave Taylor uh, with an orchard update. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, uh, morning here on uh, September 2nd, 2012. And just wanted to show you around the uh, progress on the apple trees, cherry tree, and uh, also uh, I got strawberries and pumpkins and a few other things I can show you. Um, You'll see first here, the Honeycrisp tree is uh, doing just beautifully. Uh, it's, it's hit about eight and a half feet again, which it did last year as well, but uh, since I pruned back the top so hard, it has finally bushed out. It was such a tall and slender sh tree with low, or with uh, short branches that uh, I had to do something to stunt the growth and so uh, you can see that, that was successful. It's kind of bushed out and it's more of a uh, uh, Christmas tree shape or I would even say it's kind of uh, kind of a globe, kind of circular which which I think is beautiful um, and it's developed a lot of fruit buds. Now what I did to stunt the growth of this tree, if you can see this, um, I scored all around the bark on the main trunk of the tree because I didn't want it to grow high, so high anymore. Uh, I wanted the side branches to, to be fleshed out a little bit better. And so you can see it did uh, grow up quite a ways. I don't know, I guess there's, there's about just a little over a foot of growth on there. On, uh, in the top of the tree, but all of these branches just took off. Um, so I'm very pleased with how that worked out. Um, now also, I didn't have any fruit on the tree this year at all, uh, probably because I've been pruning it so heavily, but now this year I see all these clusters of six or seven leaves like this have a little nub sticking out, and I know that Honeycrisp is a spur-bearing tree based on research and so I think those are the beginnings of the spurs which I think there were a few in uh, previous years but uh, um, they never really developed and and that might have been due, due to the goofy weather we had this year too that maybe they froze up and uh, just stopped developing or failed to flower this past spring, but uh, I do expect, uh, you know, this tree has got to be uh, reaching maturity now. You, you can just, you can just tell. It, it's, it's still real vigorous growth, but there's a lot of two and three year old wood on there that's just ready to burst with fruit in uh, 2013. So I'm, I'm really hopeful that uh, my pruning efforts to date have paid off. Uh, it, it's just making for a real beautiful tree. So that's the Honeycrisp. Uh, next you see the pumpkin patch here. and uh, This is my finest, well, were it not cracked, uh, my finest uh, pumpkin. Now you can see, here's the size of my hand on here. So this, this is a real good sized pumpkin. Um, I planted uh, jack-o'-lantern pumpkins for the kids and unfortunately I guess we won't be able to enjoy this one but I'm just letting it grow for fun uh, because, to see how big it'll get because holy cow that's a nice big pumpkin but it we with the rains we had a few weeks ago I think it had an opportunity to expand so fast that it cracked right open and there's flies and bugs living inside there which probably ain't the greatest thing but I'm just so uh, interested to see how big that pumpkin I'll get. Uh, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, all these leaves you see here sprang forth from two seeds. Um, now two more beautiful pumpkins but not quite as big. Here's one here and you can see the size difference. This one is about the size of my hand. The other one's probably three times the size of my hand. There's one growing here and the vines seem to want to grow up for whatever reason, so I am uh, propping these up 
on some little tables and buckets and this one um, the the bloom came out much later so it's it's still a dark green color but that'll orange up in the next couple weeks um, so those are my pumpkins uh, you can also see the neighbor is going to uh, possibly enjoy some pumpkins this year as well since the vine is so vigorous I just couldn't keep it out of the neighbor's yard but he's been mowing around it so I guess he wants some too um, and then the vine continues that way now for the real reason I'm here the Cortland tree I've got apples I've got three apples which so it's not the greatest but uh, hey that's better than nothing ain't it so Here's what that tree looks like now. Um, I'm going to have to be more careful of how I prune the Cortland tree in the future because it is a tip bearer, so any pruning you do is probably cutting off fruit buds. So I'm kind of letting the lower branches just go as far out as they want now, and I'm going to have to start training them to. Um, uh, you know, normally when you prune, you're pruning to an outward facing bud, but I think on this tree, it may be better, at least for the lower branches, to prune to an upward facing bud on purpose, because with the fruit, um, it's pulling this branch down so much that uh, it's just going to have a tendency in future years to just want to drag down to the ground. And I don't want that either. So I'm going to want this branch. I, I guess I could even tie this part up um, so that the branch is going to curve up more like a normal tree. Otherwise, uh, this tree is going to be so droopy. But you can see that I bagged the apples. And that's kept most of the pests out. But today is the day when I'm going to take those bags off. In fact, maybe I'll do that right now. If, if I can do it while I hold the camera, I don't know. Oh, that's going to look goofy. No, I better not. I'll do that later. But you can see they're developing a nice red color. But underneath, they are still green. Green to yellow. Um, now here's another one. See, green on the bottom. Nice bright red on the top, though. Um... So, and here's my biggest one. It's right down in here. Under that leaf. There she is. Now that, compared to with the size of my hand, you can get a feel for um, about how big that is. That's a nice big Cortland. That's probably as big as I've ever seen. Uh, supermarket Cortlands don't get that big. The other two are more normal sized. Um, but uh, I can't wait to eat these because Cortland is my favorite apple anyways so but anyways yeah I've done various things to this tree to try to get these upper branches to, to come out more and they just aren't I think these branches want a fruit they're the buds on the ends are real swollen so I can tell that those are going to want a fruit next year. However, sh other shoots will come out from those to bush the tree out more, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking I should uh, take this long, lanky top of the tree, which is, it's about six and a half feet up. Yeah, I don't know, maybe, yeah, about six and a half feet. Maybe I'll just cut this whole piece off almost into two-year-old wood um, to give these lower branches a chance to come out a lot more because um, I, I'm really debating what to do with this tree because it, this is another case where the tree has just yeah it's just gone up 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 and the branches just aren't coming out on it but maybe I should be patient too and just leave it alone because um, I think those branches will come out on their own once they start to fruit in the spring. <laughs> um, 
Another thing on this tree is uh, now this whole this whole system right here that you see um, is the fox whelp, uh, which was successfully grafted last spring. Right there is the is the graft if you can see it. Um, so I will have a good number of branches off of the fox whelp for future years. And the only other graft that I did this year that was successful was the Dolgo crab right here. And you can actually see that the, the leaves are they're a totally different quality than the others. These don't curl as much. Uh, they're more oval with smoother edges, a lighter green color. And so you can definitely tell that's a different variety on there. But there's the graft see it. Um, it's healed over real nice right on there. So that's just developing this year and uh, I guess I'll take a break because uh, this video is getting long-winded so I'll do a part two. But there you have the Cortland tree with yes indeed three apples. And those should be ready to harvest in the next week or two, since we're having such a nice early season. So I'm going to take the bags off those. Maybe I'll start on, on that on the next video, show you what they're like without the bags on.